Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at the third company in our generic stock screener, Accel Entertainment in the hotel, restaurants, and leisure industry. The company was headquartered in Illinois. Okay, it looks like they involved in the installation, maintenance, and operating of gaming terminals. Okay. The growth has been rel uh, very, very heavy, 20% the last year, and pretty much quadrupling almost, definitely tripling over the last six years in revenue. So very impressive. Starting to get to profitability, which is great for them. Margins are almost double digits on the operating margin, gross margin 30%. We see shares actually going down the last three years. So they have been repurchasing their shares. Balance sheet shows $262 million cash on hand with about 500 540 or so in long-term and short-term debt. In relation to their cash flow, that is a little bit of debt. Um, that is a good amount of debt, 500 million in debt. And even on a three-year average basis, you're probably looking at about 70 million. So that's about seven to eight times their, their three-year average free cash flow, but they're still growing business. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's too bad of a thing, but you're just going to have to, if you're, if you're looking into this company and wanting to invest in it, you're definitely going to have to look at that debt figure, see when it's due, and be comfortable with that situation. And just make sure to keep an eye on, make sure they're not uh, just issuing debt for no apparent reason. Um, the company is making enough cash flow now where they should be able to do a lot of things with their cash flow operations. So um, we do see that they're, they, they've made a big acquisition here, reason for their issuance of debt, and then they have been buying back quite a bit of shares here. So if we make our assumptions on the revenue growth side, um, let's dampen this down to maybe 10% or so, give them a 18p at the end of this period. Uh, margins, looking all right over here. Hey, let's do a decently sized range. Share change, 910 million. So 1% would be about 9 million. They did 30 million. They paid for 30 million in aggregate, which would be about three, so 39. Let's do about 2%. So 2% would be about 18 million plus the 9 million from stock-based compensation offset it. So you're looking at about almost $30 million in aggregate for share purchases, which is about, um, is that maybe fifty percent of their three-year average free cash flow, um, and then leave room for acquisitions, which it seems like they really like to do. We're incorporating that into the revenue change, and uh, due to their revenue growing, it looks like from acquisitions pretty heavily. I dampen that PE. Usually, if it's ten percent growth at the end of seven years, I might say twenty. But um, one, they don't have a great return on invested capital. They're making acquisitions for growth, and it's not necessarily making the company more efficient. So with all these assumptions, though, it is looking pretty interesting right here. We're about 13% off of buy price given these assumptions. So, um, you know, hopefully I'll do an in-depth analysis on this shortly to see how comfortable I am with this, see what the quarterly reports are saying, and do a deeper dive on it shortly. But I do hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Thank you.